And it says, into, your, into his courts with praise. So not only should you come in with something to be thankful for, but your admission is that you ought to have a praise on your lips. And I wonder, is there anybody in the building this morning that showed up to New Community with a praise on your lips? Just say, Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning. Lord, I thank you that I'm still in my right mind. Is there anybody that got a praise on their lips? Amen. I will bless them at all times. Amen. Our congregation is on this morning. It's holy, holy, holy. Lord God.
this day.
Jesus' strong name, God. We ask, Lord, that you would give the preacher power, Lord, to preach. Give it power, Lord, to preach what you would have him to preach. Now, God, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for all that you do. Thank you, God, for giving us the opportunity, Lord, to serve and to be a blessing, Lord, to our community today. Help us, God, to continue, God, to do that which you allow us to do. To make the small difference in somebody's life, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being to us everything that we need. Our Jesus strong name. In his strong name, God. In the name that is above every name. The name that only humans the name of Jesus. God, thank you for the name of Jesus. And in his strong name, God, we ask it all, God. And everybody say, Amen.
One more time for the Holy Spirit. What you just look at today is the name of He's already sick. When he said it is finished. When he said it is finished. It is finished. Jesus had already finished. All we have to do is get hold of Jesus. And everything we have to go through. We have to pull up and get it right. Amen. I don't know about you or what you come here to do. But I come to praise the Lord. So look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what you come to me to do. But say, neighbor, I come to praise the Lord. And God be good to everybody beside me. I said, God be good to you. And God be good to you. Wave your hand. And God be good to you. Wave your hand.
Hey man, you see if he ain't, we have, if we have a work out something for you, then I can understand you don't got no friend. But if it, if it don't work out something for you, you know you're working out. Hey, you got a right to praise him. You got a right to praise him for what he has already done. And if you think that, you don't have to think about it. 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 Think about it.
Thank you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit again for being here to our officers, deacons, ministers, staff, and all of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peter said, good to be here. It's good to be here in the house of God. How many of you know that in the house of God, we can find deliverance? Peace in the house of God. David said, if I could just get in the house, the sanctuary, I'll be all right. Won't be before you go. I want to call your attention to uh, the book of Romans. Paul later led to the Romans church. Paul led to the Roman church. A couple verses. I believe two verses, these two verses here. Some of the whole book of Romans. These two verses, some of the whole book of Romans, I believe. Romans 1, Paul in the letter, 16 and 17. 16 and 17. Are you there? Yeah. I want you to put your name there. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. To the Jews first. And also to the Greeks. For there is the righteousness of God. Revealed from faith to faith. And it is written, the just shall live by faith. Let us read it. Let us read it. For I am not Lord and a blessing to the readers and hears and doers of his word for, for a few moments. Uh, uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't be afraid of the gospel. Don't be afraid of the gospel. I am convinced I'm sure it's all of us here in our lives. There's something we done that we are afraid of. We are ashamed of. We are ashamed to tell someone else. We don't want no one else to know that terrible thing we did. We've been 
pick and choose what we're going to be committed about. This, my brothers and sisters, is not total commitment. Paul writes to Sarah to introduce himself to the Romans and to give a sample of his message before he arrived in Rome. Paul had a desire to go to Rome. Paul had heard about the church at Rome, but he had no other disciple had ever been there. The church evidently began by Jews who had come to faith during Pentecost. Although many barriers separated them, Paul felt a bond with these Romans. They were his sisters and brothers in Christ. Ah, my brothers and sisters, as believers in Christ Jesus, we become brothers and sisters in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And, and, and just like Paul longed to see them face to face, well, we too should long to see our brothers and sisters face to face. You see, it's just good when we can come together yes, and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. As I stated earlier, we don't come here uh, because of that. Under shepherd and the pastor, we come here to worship and praise God for what He done for you. Yeah. And all of us come here, we don't have a, a testimony of what God has done. And when we come here, we ought to be willing to share that testimony and lift up the name of Jesus, thanking Him for what He done. Because if he ever got you out of one situation, you know he can get you out of another situation. For he said, I'm the same today as I was on yesterday, and tomorrow I change his mind. When the brothers and sisters pray come together, the same praises, praise and prayer, talk back to God, it do something to the God heart. And God moved yeah. and on our prayers. Yeah. I, I believe it or not, but it is what it is. Hallelujah. If, 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 if this coronavirus really going to go away, yeah. it's going to take the church people. Because the church people got the power to just what pray. Yeah. And God will act on our prayer. Yeah. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Hallelujah. When the church will come together, yeah. forget about who they are. And realize who we is. Right. And praise God. Yeah. Why is God work? <laughs> Paul never met these believers, but he loved them. Uh -huh. How's your love for people you have never seen? Mm. Thank you, Jesus. How's your love towards your brother and sister whom you never seen? After that brief introduction, Paul presented the facts of the gospel. And declare his alliance to him. After Paul, the master, rolled experience, well, the Holy Spirit led him in the desert uh -huh. to be taught by God for three years in the desert. Paul said, All learned the thing that he had, he thought he knew. Compared to the thing that God taught about in the devil. Yes, was that rubbish. Mm -hmm. It was not any good. And then Paul tells us this morning. In time like this. In difficult time like this. Well, that he is not afraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ. My brother and sister, I encourage you. Do not be afraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You see, Paul was willing to risk his life for the gospel. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Paul knew that only 
way wrong that he gonna run into a problem after problem after problem, but it did not stop him from going wrong. What's stopping you today? What's stopping you today from you doing what God has called you to do? The coronavirus? What's stopping you? Paul was not going to let anything get in the way. Paul said that he's not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of salvation. Uh, for everyone who believes, Jews first and to the Greek. The gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Two things you need to remember. Paul said it is the power unto God, unto who? Salvation. To all who believe. Look at the name of the neighbor. Don't you not know? We was on our way to hell. Look what the gospel did. Look what the gospel is able to do. Only if when we believe that. If we believe the gospel, guess what? The gospel is able to save us from hell penalty. Ah, the only way man can be saved is through the gospel. No other name given the name that they make themselves the name of? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the gospel. Paul persecuted the church. Now he recruited people to become followers of Christ. Probably what most of us are afraid of the gospel. Most of us are afraid of the gospel. A lot of us go to work, people don't even know you're a Christian. A lot of us go here and there, our light turn off. But we quickly come to the sun, we come, we come to the church, but we don't have a church. In order to have a church in us, the church is the gospel of Jesus Christ. We don't have him in us. So we turn them off. Grow to stuff. Learn them back. Turn them off. Move the air. Everywhere we go, we buy a life off. But when most of us come to church, we want to come up and shout. Hallelujah. Raise our hand. That's okay. But that we trouble. When trouble comes, we turn our lights off. We tuck our tail, go running. Ah, not afraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ. What is the gospel? What is the gospel? We will, we will the gospel. The gospel is the gospel. The gospel is that he came. Jesus 
gave up the ghost. He gave up the ghost, went down to Hades and preached to those who were before him. Yes, sir. He, they stayed down there for how many days? He, he said three days. As, I, as Jonah was in the what? Better the wheel for three days. I shall be in the earth for what? Three days. Three days, huh? Some people say, how can you get three days uh, 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 for Friday night and Sunday morning? Well, God did. He did. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever he said, Jesus said, it's all right. But the Bible says he came, he lived, he died, stayed down there three days, and then what he do? He got up. He got up from the what? From the grave. He got up from the day. He, he, he thought he was dead, but he got up. He got up for you and for me. That we can be reconnected and our fellowship back and forth. Yes, sir. He got a, he did that. Hallelujah. Jesus did that for you. Yes. Thank you, God. That's the gospel. Yes. Now, again. Thank you, Jesus. He died. Oh. He got up. He coming back. Yes. He coming back from church. Yes, sir. Without spot or ring. Yeah. I'm at a ring that you have. Do you, do you need to go to uh, <laughs> Are you are, are you all got all the ring or not? You coming back for a check? You better you better check yourself. Yeah. You you better examine yourself. Hallelujah. But we got to stand before when we coming back. For a check without sparring. No, that's the gospel. Thank Let me tell you something. Believe it. I understand well so doc that as preachers mm -hmm. we get up and preach to the congregation Hallelujah. that we be that we be ashamed. I'm telling you that. Because that's all the that gospel is. Yes. But today, most preachers is not telling you what I just told you. Thank you, Jesus. They're getting, giving you cotton candy syrup. Yes. That ain't going to help you tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Because only the gospel is able to keep you. The gospel, not only is it the power of God, but the gospel is, it does reveal the righteousness. Did you hear what I say? It reveals the righteousness of God. When you see the gospel, you see God. Ain't that right? You hear what I say? When you see Jesus, you see God. He said, the Father and I are what? One. I want to do what? What the Father tell me to do. So look, look at it. Look at it. It, it, it revealed the righteousness of God. And the Bible said, none righteous but who? But God. But in order for us to get to heaven, we must become righteous. And the only way we can do that is through the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're preaching anything else, you're not preaching the gospel. Thank you, Jesus. That's why so many people today do what they do in the church hall. They're ashamed of the gospel. Looking out at y'all faces. Yes. Like y'all don't want to be here. Thank you. Look like a, 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 a man. Look like you're mad. Thank Some of you look like you had a hard night last night. Thank Some like y'all went out and danced all night, party all night. Oh. Some of y'all come up here and look like you got bubble gum in your mouth, lip, pork out, mad about something. Thank you, when we look out there and see all that, it's discouraging. Yes. It is discouraging. Thank you, to see y'all come up in here when, when he know that if it had not been for the Lord, you would need God the money. You ain't taking it away. Because some of you think you, you, you got here woke up because of you. Hallelujah. You think you're here because of your good. No, none of us is any good. You feel the right. There's none good. That's the quote. There's none good but God. But God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. The gospel. I said, the gospel is not uh, a blind thank 
got to die. A blind that we cannot see. The gospel is not that. No, no. The gospel is not that. The gospel is not a blind cover or a blind culture. The gospel of Jesus Christ is for anyone who calls on the name of Jesus. As a leader, Christ has commissioned us to go into all the world to make disciples. I'm telling them about Jesus. It's just not the pastor's job. It's all our job who confess and believe in Christ. Quite so, quite so, quite so. Since this pandemic, pandemic since this, I would like you to quote. I want you to think about it. Thank you, Jesus. When was the last time you told somebody about Jesus? Well, sir. Hallelujah. When was the last time? You told somebody about Jesus. We've we been locked down for four months. Thank you, Jesus. When was the last time you really sincerely told somebody about Jesus? Uh -huh. We are mandated yes. to tell somebody about Jesus. Every day. Every day. Every day. We are to let our light shine. The gospel is on way. We be saved. There's power mm -hmm. in the gospel. Open it up. Now open it up. There's saving power the in the gospel. Mm -hmm. There's holy no power the in the gospel. Yes. The gospel calls us uh, to do right. What yes. order the wrong? The gospel calls us to live well, for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The gospel causes us to be a witness for the Lord. For the Lord. Yes, uh, but if you want to be a witness for the Lord, you got to have this power on the inside working on the outside. Uh, look at your name. Your name of do you have yeah. this power? Yeah. Ah, this power is available for all who call on the name of Jesus. My brother and sister, all uh, we got to do uh, yeah. confess our sin. Because the Bible says we all have sinned. Came short of the glory of God. Wages of sin and death. But the gift of God is eternal life. For our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Ah, confess. Ah, repent of our sin. Confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in our heart that God raised him up from the dead. And the Bible said, Whosoever call on the name of the Lord, we shall. We shall be saved. Ah, thank you, Father, for the gospel of our Lord and the Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for us over 2,000 years ago. Thank you that you came and died so that we might live. Thank you, Jesus. 
If I had 10,000 tongues, I could thank him for nothing for what he already done. The Lord, he been good to me. Oh, yes, he has. I said, the Lord, he been good to me. Oh, yes, he has. And everybody here, I uh, know that the Lord been good to you. Let me see you lift your hand. If you know that the Lord is good to you, won't you just raise those hands? Yeah, Lord, I thank you. Dear Lord, I thank you. All for the gospel of Jesus Christ. So don't be ashamed to tell somebody about Jesus. It's all right to tell somebody about Jesus. Because that's what the Christian that's what the believers have been mandated to do. Let our light shine before men that they might see our good works and glorify the Father of the heaven. Listen. Listen. We come here to worship and pray but we leave here to seven. In seven, we tell our people about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This 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 mess this go to version. You can preach for those two version for whole two months. That's just a little sample of the gospel. Can't take it all in. I just want you to just do not be afraid of the gospel. What I gave you is the basis. If you can't get the basis, if you can't get the basis. Yeah, don't, 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 don't do you good to get nothing. You're not gonna get nothing there. You gotta get the basis of the gospel. You gotta have the basis. I gave you the basis today. Now, if I give you the basis, I'm gonna be watching. See, are you are you are you putting the basis in the practice? That was I used to go to a church. There was a pastor. He preached one message. You know, you know, I know I preached one. One one for how many years? They preached one man for how many years? 120 years. Noah preached the same message. 120 years. It's, it's going to forward. That's all he preached. That's all he told the people. He didn't tell them nothing else. Every time he saw him, he tell them, it's going to rain. I'm saying. Did it rain? Jesus Christ came, lived, died, got up, come and I will put that in practice. Put that in practice. Start doing it. Tell the people about Jesus. Watch God use you. I really love the Lord. Oh, Lord. 
I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. What day when I was born, he died. I'm 